Hello everybody and welcome back, this is EDS here bringing you episode 19 of my Pokemon Prismatic Moon Let's Play. <coughs> Phlegm in the throat. So this is the second, third, third time I've tried to record this freaking clip, so let's just go ahead and show off what I did. Hold on a minute. There we go. Forgot I was playing Metro Tamers Returns before I started uh, playing this again. Uh, so just let me, let me just show you guys what I did uh, in between videos. <sighs> So, with a heavy heart, a disappointing growl, I am going to replace Komo, who we have spent so much time level grinding, because of the simple fact that Komo keeps getting her ass kicked by some very, not very strong Pokemon. Komo is very well balanced, probably one of the most well balanced out of the pseudo legendaries. Her specialty is in her defense stat, but even all of her stats except for speed are very good, but she just doesn't have the bulk, and the typing is kind of riddled with problems. So I'm going to be replacing her with Silvali. Now I have two reasons for doing this. Number one, because of the memories, like the fairy memory that is currently attached to it, and its ability RKS system, which allows it to use those memories, it can change its type to any one of the other 17 types that it chooses to do. And number two, and this is all thanks to the creator of this hack, Silvalli's base stat total, like across the whole board, before, in the regular game, it is 95 across the board, which is absolutely pathetic, honestly. None of its stats are even 100 points. Very well balanced, very great move pool, but just doesn't have the firepower to really deliver on that promise. But the creator of this hack bumped it by 60 points across the board. 10 points to each of its stats. So every stat is 105 base, which takes its base stat total from a despicable 580, I think? Or 570? To a very respectable legendary status of three, 630 base stats. So absolutely going to include Silvalli on the team now. She is now going to be one of our final members. So now it is just a matter of finding a couple more Pokemon that we can slot in for the majority of the rest of the game. For right now, I'm going to keep uh, Zoroark in the front of my party. However, Superior is becoming a bit of a nuisance. And given Superior's many issues, especially its four-time ice weakness, and it's only able to really get going once it does its little landslide ability, which by that I mean it gets one good attack in and then just tears the rest of the team apart. The biggest problem I've been having is not getting that first fucking attack off. Also, I still have not adjusted fucking Vickavolt's stats back to where it's supposed to be, where it's, uh... Because Vickavolt's base stats were increased to a total of a 600 because of how late Chargebug evolves in the game. The creator of the hack decided to make Vickavolt a pseudo-legendary. And I absolutely applaud the man for that. That is an excellent frickin' idea. So, anyway, beside uh, this, beside Superior... I'm trying to think of who I can replace, but for the moment, I am currently drawing a blank. So we will get to that, I will get to that in between videos. And Zoroark is only staying in the party for the moment, uh, due to uh, the Ghost Trial, which will be coming up soon. That is an Alolan Vulpix! Ooh! I think I might know... If I choose Alolan Vulpix, then that's going to directly clash with Primarina again. Oh, I love how the first Ninetales I saw was a regular one, and the first Vulpix I found was a Alolan variant. That's cute. But for right now, we gotta go up here to this little building. The Aether, 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 Uther, Fucker House. Now, for this, I'm actually gonna switch out for Primarina, because I know that it's gonna be a uh, double battle, I think. Or it's just gonna be a pain in the ass, I'm not sure. These kids come up and attack us with very powerful Pokémon! Yeah! Five-year-olds. Very powerful by me by that I mean high level, by the way. That is a level 63 Elekid. Why would you have a level 63 Elekid is unbeknownst to me, but I'm guessing it's just because it is a child that is wielding it. Does he have a Smoochum as well? I mean he has a Magby and an Elekid. He's probably got a Smoochum now. Even with your son up, that's not gonna stop the raw power of my water spit. 
Oh no, Riolu is what you're sending out. That's an interesting combination. Oh, I should have used Moonblast. Oh well, Scald was still strong enough. Or no, I don't have Moonblast anymore. I have Dazzling Gleam, so I can hit multiple targets. I'm back, everybody! Looks like I finished up my shopping spree right on time. You've already met everyone? Oh yeah, we've met all right. In battle, anyway. But where's Lily? I left her with Apu. They should be coming soon. So why don't you get those trials done first? Did you know that I'm the captain? You do. You did know I'm the captain, right? Yeah, I did not. My trial takes place at the abandoned site where the supermarket used to be. When you want to go, I'll meet you in front of the Aether House and show you the way. Alright. Wait! What do you think you're doing? Stop it! Stop it right now! For real, girl? Your bag was moving right in front of my eyes and I'm just supposed to ignore that? It could be a vibrator. You guys... <laughs> If you've got some rare Pokemon in there, I'm going to have to take it and, and make some cash. I really kind of wish you could sell Pokemon for money in the games. I really do. Even if it's not that rare Pokemon, I bet I can still get paid, yo. You stay the fuck away from my girlfriend, you bitch. Oh, so we're following that script, are we? A trainer dashes forward to save the girl, huh? I'm not going to let you be the hero in this scene. Motherfucker, you're the villain, so I'm clearly the hero by default, even if I wasn't against you. Slacking. Luckily, he didn't change Slacking's ability, so it still sucks and has slow start, and I didn't get a burn. That earthquake didn't hurt, hurt that much. Good. Goodbye. Always target Slacking's very bad special defense. That's the best way to take its ass out. And now we got a Fungus Among Us coming in. And instead of Flamethrower, let's use my Psy Shock. It hits the defense stat instead of the special defense stat, even though it is a special attacking move. Oh, uh, okay, I could keep you in. I'll keep you in, why not? You do have a type advantage over me, but I also have a type advantage over you. Plus, I have this. Boom! <laughs> I love that even for the Pokemon that can't learn the moves in the game, the creators of the game still made animations for every Pokemon to learn to use every single move. Oh, that did not work. No! Okay. Sorry about that. That was a pain in the ass. The emulator crashed. Alright, please just work. Thank you. I had to freaking try it again like three times to get it to work. Apparently, I looked into my uh, my games folder or my uh, my game settings, and there was a couple of cheats that were on that weren't relevant. Like there was the no outline uh, cheat for version 1.02, which I am not using. I'm using version 1.0, and I guess that, along with some other stuff, was crashing the game. But either way, at least you didn't see anything bad. You just saw the, the background of my backdrop. But from now on, I think I'm actually going to be saving in video. Even though I hate doing that. The videos always come out fine. Alright, let's just get this dark trial up and over with. Yep, yep. Alright. Now for this, first of all... Oh, shit, I need to heal. Let's just go to the Pokemon Center instead of grabbing my items. A couple of the battles that I actually had to redo went a little bit differently, but that's not really important anymore, so let's just activate the EXP point thing, because there's a couple of trainers on the way towards the trial itself, and I do plan on battling them. You're not a trainer. Ooh, a stamp. Or a stick or whatever. You're a guy that I can fight. A rare Pokemon collector. Tyranitar. Hmm. I haven't seen that guy in a while. My favorite pseudo-legendary. And yes, you heard me right. It is my favorite pseudo-legendary. <sighs> I should make a video on my top favorite pseudo-legendary Pokemon. Right, and these frickin' Murkrow are staring at a sticker, so there's another sticker for me. There's another trainer right here, a fisherman person, which for some reason didn't see me until I was behind him. That's weird. Oh, he's got a Milotic. Oh, that's going to be annoying. Alright, well, let's just try to get an accuracy drop, and we did, but now it got competitive, and now it got Hydro Pump, and in the rain, and I am dead. Fuck me. 
<laughs> Damn it. Alright, fuck it. I don't care. Let's go, Sil Valley. Use your fucking multi attack, you arrogant brick! Die. I could even switch it to the grass one to give me a better advantage there. Unfortunately, I don't have anything against that quillfish, so guess what? It is Vickavolt's turn, baby! Vickavolt with your powerful lightning attacks, your hydro pump ain't gonna do shit, bitch! You ain't got the proper special attack stat! Motherfucker! Maybe if you was rocking a waterfall or something, you would have done some shit to me, but you ain't got shit on me, bitch! I hope that Gyarados doesn't use fucking Stone Edge. Oh, it didn't even get a chance to move! Oh, poor Water Dragon. Oh. I'm so sad for you. Not really. I couldn't care less. Alright, well, let's heal then, because fuck me. Okay, so there's that, there's that. I did have the memories. I didn't actually include any of the good ones. But I am going to put the steel one on Silvali, because I will be needing that actually later on. Alright, to the gross tri to the gross trial. Sure, let's go with that. So in the ghost trial, I have to use my photo camera's feature to spy ghost Pokemon. We do have one problem, though. I don't know if I have to use motion controls. I had this problem before uh, because, again, you, you can't use motion controls on the, on the 3DS emulator. At least not that I've tried. But let's see if I can just... Yeah, okay, I can just move it. Good. I was hoping that I wouldn't have to do, like, some motion control nonsense. Alright, you are gone. Goodbye to Gasly. It's a shame I can't catch you. You're a cool... Cool. That stutter scared the crap out of me just now. <laughs> okay. Moving on. Now to a crate that is shaking rather violently. And a haunter that will die. A... The Gengar is going to be a pain in the bitch because, you know, I do have the game at 245%, which is basically two and a half times normal speed. So, finding the Gengar in a second here may be a bit of a tricky business. Oh, the plushies are levitating. Come on, Gengar. Come on. Gotcha. Okay, that wasn't hard at all. Gengar, you will meet your end now. Goodbye. See, I'm very worried with the, the sake of my Zorark. Zorark is pretty much going to be a, a fucking sacrifice, and you'll see why in a minute. Who are you? Acerola? No, never mind that. Looks like you're done with the trial, right? You should hurry up and leave this place. I'm not done yet. This place is dangerous. You should give up and on the trial and get out. I'm not done yet. I told you to get out. I'm not leaving. Get out. No. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Click. It did, you didn't do a thing, but the door clicked open. Because, of course, the game is creepy. And who is spotting us but... Mimikyu! See me? The first ghost fairy type. One of my personal favorites from Gen 7, actually. So the reason that it's going to be a problem is that... I didn't realize it was going to be that much faster than me. Alright, let's see if Superior might be faster. Oh, god damn it. I really just... I need to break its fucking thing. Play... What the flying motherfucker? You can't be serious! I just... I need to... No! Oh my god, you're not even kidding me with this, are you? Come on, man, I need to survive. Oh, my special attack went up. Hold on a minute. Is Primarina going to be the one to do this? Is this Primarina's moment to shine? 
full restore. Play rough is not enough to kill me, but it does set off Berserk. Oh, you fucker! You fucking fucker! You bastard with your clear smog! I need to get a burn on that thing. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna PP stall it. I can't do anything else. I have to PP stall this damn thing. Even with both of them combined, it cannot kill me, so I just need to continue to PP stall it until I can kill it. I don't know what keeps triggering Berserk, honestly. Oh, because my HP keeps going below half. That's what it is. I'm just PP stalling out Play Rough, which only has 10 PP. And that fucking Chandelure's Clear Smog is a pain in my ass. The Primarine is my best shot here. If I put Sil Valley out here, that fucking Chandelure is just gonna flamethrower and kill it. Oh, man. Sorry, this is gonna be boring. I, did, I always have trouble with this specific one. Luckily, they're just gonna keep fucking hitting me in the same damage area unless one of them gets a critical hit. No crit. Clear smog. No crit. Oh wow, it did it did higher damage roll though. Look, I can do this here all frackin' day. Shadow Claw is weaker than fucking um Shadow Claw is weaker than Play Rough. And I don't know how many PP Clear Smog has. Let me actually check while I'm just rapidly healing here. So if I go over here to this thing... Let me just open up my Pokemon app. We'll just go to moves. Move decks. Uh, types. Poison. Clear Smog has 15 PP. Shadow Claw also has 15 PP, and that thing's using bulk up. Oh, this is bad. I need to burn it. Nope, I'm dead. Oh my god. God fuck me, man. Oh my shit. Shitting Lord. Oh my motherfucking god. This is like the epitome of fuck you, this is unfair. That thing's just gonna keep bulking up. And then that Chandelure just killed my Vicavolt in one shot. Fucking Sil Valley is about to get its ass kicked too. Alright, let's just keep fucking reviving everybody over and over again until we win. Oh. Oh no. Oh man. You know what? I think I'm gonna have to take the L. Just like the last time, but this time. I'm gonna actually have to do something I really don't want to do, but I'm gonna have to max. I'm gonna have to get a level 100 Pokemon and come in back and come back in here. That's the only choice I have. I'm not gonna be able to beat this guy otherwise. Yeah, there's there's no way I can beat this thing unless I have a maxed out Pokemon. Yeah, it's just it's not gonna be happening. It's just not. I need to get a level 100 Pokemon for this fight. I can't do it. I cannot do it without one. Alright. You know what? Who are we making level 100? Are you just gonna grab somebody from the PC and do it? Or are we gonna level up one of my main mons and go from there? You know what? Huh. This is not a good choice. I don't want to do this, but that, that fucking thing is too strong. Alright. <sighs> Fuck me. There's no steel ghost type. Well, there is, but... Uh, I don't have it on me. Which means I'd have to PK hex it. 
Alright guys, I'm actually going to go ahead and end the video here and come back with a new Pokemon st uh, to set up to kill that thing, so... Apologies for the fucked up parts of this video and the fact that I just got my fucking ass handed to me. But, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like to see and you want to see more, please consider leaving a like and just subscribing to the channel. That really helps out. Uh, if you guys want to see more content from me in the future. And until next time, this has been ZDS. Make you for fun one video at a time, and I will see you guys in the next video.